everybody in this video i am going to solve the following problem what the following set of processes scheduled uh, using first come first serve policy determine average waiting time assume that the processes arrive in the order p1 p2 p3 p4 process are given process are given and arrival time uh, not available here so arrival time can be considered as 0 0 0 0 bus time are given and we need to find average waiting time these are the uh, four options this is the question from NTA NET 2022 uh, question paper. Let's uh, consider the solution. Let's solve the problem. First of all, we need to uh, draw the NAT shirt. NAT shirt for FCFS. As there are no arrival time, but uh, consider the sequence P1, P2, P3, P4. So first of all, P1 will execute total time. And then P2 will execute 20 plus 15. Uh, then P3, uh, 10, 20, 33. And finally P4, uh, 7, that is 40. Now we need to calculate the uh, waiting time. Process, arrival time, bus time. Uh, P1, P2, P3, P4. There is no arrival time. So it is considered as 0, 0, 0, 0. Bus time is... Uh, uh, 8, 15, 10, 7. Completion time. Completion time of P1 is 8. Completion time of P2 is 23. Completion time of P3 is 33. Completion time of P4 is 40. Now, next one is uh, turnaround time. Uh, turnaround time means uh, completion time or arrival time. As arrival time is 0, 8 minus 0 is 8, 23, 33 and 40. Now, waiting time finally. Waiting time is equal to turnaround time minus bus time, turn time minus bus time, that is waiting time 0, then was 8, uh, then 23, and then 33. So, average waiting time equal to 0 plus 8 plus 23 plus 33 divided by 4, as there are 4 processes. That is equal to uh, 31, 64 divided by 4, and millisecond. Unit is millisecond, that is 16 milliseconds. So, right answer is 16B. The question from NTA 2022, subject is robotic system and topic is scheduling. Uh, problem is first come, first serve shortage, first come, uh, first serve scheduling algorithm. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Share and subscribe.